like really the scales is nowhere near even in terms of like worth like i don't give a fuck what you say that bitch is gonna help no fucking war she she is gonna provide nothing intellectual to the government or aid it anywhere further but victor belt could if he can pull up his old connections from before he went to prison if he can still provide some means of Russia getting over Ukraine's funding or receiving the funds from Western countries, that would definitely aid Russia immensely. And that's already much more than fucking bitch ass Brittany Garani could do. Like, what the fuck is she doing inspiring a whole bunch of like dumbasses? How is that going to help Ukraine? How is that going to help United States? Like, seriously, what the fuck is that bitch being back in this country doing for us? And tell me how is that worth the lives of the people who was changed ended and fucking live with nightmares and shit because of the wars and stuff that Victor Bout helped propagate. What about the future victims of Victor Bout? If he probably decides to go back into arms smuggling again, they literally gave him back to the Russian government. I highly doubt he's just going to get a vacation. He's probably going to go back to work. Like he, I highly doubt he hated what he did. Like he decided to risk his freedom and shit. He was world famous. The merchant of fucking death. Like he sells death for a living. That's how he made money. You really think you're not going to go back and doing it when they're literally in the war? He could make money, stay in this country, be rich, move up in the hierarchy all over again. Like, this is, a, this is a perfect opportunity for him to be back big in the Russian government. Or at least be a useful ally to Putin and the Russian government. Like, this is so stupid. Some of the same people that I was saying, like, Putin is a fucking madman. He's crazy. A terrorist. He'll use fucking... Weapons of mass destruction or nukes and shit. Then why the fuck you gonna give from somebody that deals with arms? I don't care that he did this shit what, 10, 20, 30 years ago. The whole point is he's still alive. He still knows people. And he still knows some techniques. And any bit of information in the war is immensely valuable to help you win it. All it takes is information to tip the scales in such a way that a country can be dominated and then that could lead to political repercussions that could spread across the whole globe like this isn't just no simple elementary school shit this is people lives at stake and people futures at stake this whole war in ukraine has caused food shortages worldwide this is like this is straight up bullshit why are you going to strengthen russia when you're already holding them at the stalemate all you do it now is causing more lives to be lost in ukraine for their soldiers for people around the world who was relying on like Russia or Ukrainian supplies, for people around the world who was relying on maybe Western supplies, who maybe have to worry about it being diverted to go to Ukraine instead. You're talking about our government giving them money instead of aiding their own citizens who is in the middle of a recession, I would say, with high gas prices, inflation, layoffs, all this stuff. We just had COVID two years ago. But we giving the hundreds of millions of us to another country to help them fight a war and then give their enemy an asset explain this shit to me seriously like i don't give a fuck the bitch black and i don't give a fuck that bitch fucking a lesbian that bitch is fucking worthless compared to victor bell explain to me how she isn't what can she possibly do for us that is more viable than victor bell seriously put it in the comments below and I will get to it and I will apply to it. Because this is some bullshit. It's your boy Logos. I'll see y'all next time.